Welcome back to Tech Express, everybody, where we bring you the latest in digital solutions. Today, we're going to be diving into the world of e-commerce with Wix. So whether you are starting from scratch or looking to expand online, we'll be showing you how to create a stunning Wix e-commerce website. All right, so first things first, set up your Wix account. It's going to be really easy and straightforward. I'm going to be leaving you a link down below so we can uh, all be into the actual same page so we can start with an actual Wix account. So once you have your very first Wix account, it's going to be really, really easy. Get started with an actual studio design. So you have two ways to get started here. Whether you want to start from a blank canvas or to start from an actual template. What I can totally suggest to you is to use a template since you have created a site for your client or for uh, something really, really easy. Choosing a template, Wix offers a variety of templates specifically designed for e-commerce. So you can choose one that fits for your brand and product line. I'm going to be, of course, leaving you guys with a bunch of hours for you to choose which is the best template for you. Just a quick piece of advice into the actual web pod, you have the category and you have the design template, the wireframes, and here into the type, I want to focus into e-commerce. And now inside the e-commerce, I can look out for the industry, for example, based into technology, creative, fashion, beauty, business, and whatever. So maybe you can use all this information to find the best for you guys and go here and to continue. So for example, let's say that I wanted to look out for this one and I hit now into edit. And this is the part where you wanted to add your actual products. Now add your products to the side, include high quality images, detailed descriptions, and short prices. So if I wanted to add one product, what I do want to do is to go into my home section. I'm gonna go actually back and try to look out for an actual tool that can be helping me to add products. For example, there's is the app market. Add into the app market section, let's say that I wanted to sell online. Let's go for stores. And here I do have a bunch of elements that can be helping me to connect my shoppers. I have the Wix stores, professional e-commerce platform to sell online. Usually this is what people do a lot into their sites. And since this is free to install, everybody does it. So I add this into my actual Wix stores. And once I make the configuration of that, I can add my actual products. So really, really easy to add those into Wix. So check out that automatically is been added this section of these uh, products. So of course you can just delete this part and edit it by adding the manager products. And here into manage my products, I can just delete the example products and add my own. So check out here. Into the store products, I have the products, the inventory, the categorized, the backing stock request, and all of that. I can select all of them and I can go for more actions and delete them. I'm going to hit into delete and I'm going to add my very first product, for example, digital product or physical product. So it's going to be asking you to fill as much information as you can. For example, images and videos, product information, the description, uh, additional info sections, the pricing, the customs, tax, product options, inventory and shipping, and all of that. So take your time to add as much information as you can with your actual product. Next up, setting up the payment options. Now, setting up a payment options for your customer, Wix supports various methods, including credit cards, PayPal, and more. To check out which one um, accepts your country because it's totally depending on where you're actually currently living, you want to go into your left pod and look out for the billing and payments. Now here into the billing and payments, you can see that we have a lot of stuff. For example, the price quotes, I'm going to hit into manage the payment method. And here inside the actual Wix section, I can add, in this case, I choose uh, your business location. I choose Mexico. And here I have the accept payments. For example, I can accept Stripe, I can use PayPal, or I can just allow to accept cash on manual payments. So that's totally optional, guys. And depending on what is the actual element that you chose, is going to be asking you with an actual instructions. For example, in this case, connect your account into Stripe account, um, connect your Wix account now, find the credentials, contact strategies in case you have any question, and you're actually good to go and hit it to connect. Really, really easy process though. Now, they have the integrating the shipping and taxes. If you don't do drop shipping or print on the mat, configure your shipping rules based on your location, the price, and the weight. 
uh, of the product, of course. And to do that, once again, you go into the love pod and you can see that we have the store products. Into the store products, usually what you can do is that inside the product, let's say for example here into a physical product, you have the option to add the shipping prices or the shipping information. So usually here you can go and scroll all your way down and you have the inventory and the shipping. So here into the status, you have the SKU, the shipping weight, and the tracking inventory. Now, to know a little bit more about shipping costs and all of that, what you can do is to go into your applications, go into App Market, and here what you can do is to try to look out for an application that can be helping you to do some uh, shipping costs and all that. So I'm going to go here into shipping rates or shipping deliveries. And you have MBA, I have Packline, I have ShipIt, Foxdows. So these are shipping and logistic platforms for e-commerce. That's totally depending on what you're actually selling and where you're actually currently living. For example, this one is going to be helping you to discount shipping cost, local, domestic, and international shipping, multiple career Rears available, fulfillment services, and all of that. So you just want to make sure the actual average rating, if this actually is enabled for your store, for your actual website, and of course for the country you are currently living. Next up, the optimizing your CEO. You can utilize Wix built-in CEO tools to make your website more visible to potential customers. And to do that, once again, you can go back, you can check out the home section. I'm going to go into the actual dashboard of my Wix and here into your dashboard of your Wix are two ways that you can check it out the CEO. Here is the marketing and the CEO section and you can see that you have the CEO, the email marketing, the Facebook and Instagram ads, the Google ads, the Google business profile. Set it up all this correctly should be helping you to peer more into Google, into much more CEO search engine optimization and so on and on and on. We have a lot of videos speaking about the CEO journey into our channel so if you wanted to check that out i'm going to be leaving you a link down below in our description guys but basically it's actually really really simple to set things up now uh, lastly we have the final touches and going live now before launching review your website thoroughly test the checkout process check out your links test the overall user experience if you have like a friend or uh, a familiar somebody that can help you to check out how it's going to be looking your actual website it's going to be really really great to test your actual website before you go live and to do that you can go here into the view live uh, site and as you can see I haven't published anything yet but what I can do is to go here into the edit site just to make sure what I have available into my actual store what needs to be edited what needs to be upgraded and so on and on and on so to summarize all of this information with the creating of an e-commerce website into wix it's going to be not that expensive it's not going to be that difficult to create an actual store if you choose the right template if you choose the right niche if you add the really if you use a lot of great applications into the app store of wix i will believe that you'll be more than enough to get started to sell stuff here into wix once again you have all the great tools there you have the ceo you have the analytics you have the billing and payments you have the store products you have more templates to use look for the right needs for you and you're actually good to go so so thanks a lot for joining us into this new tech express video thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys your journey to a success online business starts here thank you once again hopefully we can all see you next time